after all, Boyd being the uh, the favorited player here in this matchup. But uh, we can never count the underdog out. One, go. Right, here we go. Starting off on Smashville, looking a little bit like Smash 4 this time. Falling up or in the battle of the small characters at the moment. Squirtle versus Pichu and Pichu having the type advantage. And oh my god, actually almost killed. Yeah, and this, oh my god, hit him out of that Pokemon Switch too. Forcing him into the Charizard. It's going to make that recovery. Oh my god, I so feel like, lucky. I feel like Boyd wanted a back in there. He ended up getting a neutral, but regardless, the forward punch is going to land and clean up shop, forcing the Charizard out now. Yeah. And I don't think we're going to see the Charizard for too long. No, but I mean, with Charizard being so big, okay, he's going to get combo so ridiculous. hard. The falling reverse up air, catching Charizard. Is actually able to convert off of it as well. Yeah, and you were right, Miho. We didn't see the Charizard for very long. I'm not surprised either because we've seen just like how. Void has the combos online on Squirtle, who is such a hard character to hit. These smaller characters are very hard to combo a lot of the time, but Void is not having any trouble. So Charizard, that's a cakewalk for him. Oh my goodness. That was actually Ooh! combined with points to get that sweet spot, taking it away. Silver Fox getting that stock, but for Void, we end up getting that up air up air, falling up air, trying to lead it into the Thunder, barely off the mark. But nonetheless, Void is still Keeping up all of this pressure up throw, get a thunder. Yes, but barely off the mark. Yet, but paired off. I mean, it's crazy how worth that thunder was too, right? Because he did a double jump thunder, and it popped him up high enough to where he landed safely on the platform as well. So really smart uh, coverage there from Void. F tilt will though, and he's gonna secure that last, uh, that second stock. We're gonna go switch right back to Squirtle. He's not wasting any time oh, on Charizard. Yeah. Char uh, this Charizard's is the best bet. there when you're at 130 plus, and you just you need to live. Size of the cost, yeah. <laughs> you need to live. You need to up throw. Sometimes you can mix them up with the flare blitz, or you just need to pull them off off stage to get back. <laughs> Woo! Okay, what an F smash there. He's got the Ivysaur out. Gotta go for that forward smash himself. Not quite going to land. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Quick switch. switch. Charizard to make it back. Oh, oh, oh man, that up, uh, up tilt, right, or up air? Either way, I mean they're similar animations. Send a similar angle is gonna drag him right back down with a thunder and Void securing that first game. Yep, and with Pichu and you know Pikachu in general, it doesn't matter what side you get hit by the thunder cloud if it's on the left or the right. It yes. just depends on which way Pichu is facing. The Pichu Pikachu player is Pichu. That is why we see Silver Fox going off of the side losing that stock. Yeah, it's a uh, similar, similar thing with the uh, down smashes as well, like the, depending on what way they're facing, that's the direction it's going to send. Interesting that, you know, the devs at Nintendo made that decision, but hey, they were just like, we, we want to see stocks fly. That's what this game is about. Yes, you're right. All right, cool. All right, so much fun. The fun, forcing the air dodge and Void now sitting at 46, with Void heading in his voice in this conversation now, heaving it up basically. And I like the way that Silver Fox started. He actually hit him with the, uh, oh no, with not a standard combo. I'm surprised he didn't down tilt straight into the down air there, but he caught the EDI anyways with the forward air. I think with, I think with Squirtle, he just wasn't sure yeah. he was going to like fully into Went for that guaranteed damage instead. Very smart, and that's why Boyd is the caliber of player he is. Another drag down Thunder, man. The stock so early. With Squirtle being one of the lightest characters, that's easy. Easy. Falling up or leading into so many more. 31 for Void trying to go off and catch this Ivysaur off stage. And you know, when you're able to disrupt the fight with there's not oh, much man. that this loops. character can do right afterwards. Give him the loops, but you know what? He was ready to go ahead and catch the switch anyway off of the Charizard, but the Charizard up smash catching the jump of Void. Yeah, man. Charizard making himself useful out here. Still, uh, Silver Fox trailing by a considerable amount of percent right now, but he's definitely still in it. Oh, I love that. The parry into the neutral air and the forward air. Racking up a little bit more damage. Oh, no. Watch out for that air dodge. Oh, right, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, the uh, Thunder the Jolt hit oh, the uh, Vine okay. Whip. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize the Vine so, Whip was yeah. actually an extension of Yes, it. exactly. So that's very uh, common with a lot of the tether grabs as well. There's another up throw, drag down thunder. Actually caught uh, Silver Fox sleeping a little bit. He actually ran forward with that. So great read from Void's part. Forward tilt, only Void get off of him and you know just switch. Having that invincibility, so he's able to try to cover afterwards. 
it back over to the Ivysaur, looking for that effort, but the forward tilt at the ledge is enough to send Void right back off stage. Nice, all right, catching the falling up air. We're gonna move down to our last talk, and not a bad position for Silver Fox to be here. Uh, only 26% on his stock. Oh man, I spoke too soon. Here come the Pichu combos. Going on the platform two up throw. Here comes the thunder. No, he waits for the air dodge. Yeah, maybe on the next up throw. Ooh, he goes for it, but Silver Fox drifting away. Boy, is not quite ready to go ahead and cover the DI and that air dodge. Boy, right back in there with these thunder Oh, there it is Oh my goodness, two in a row. Bringing it a third. Oh, just air dodging. The ledge is Charizard, but now he basically has to stay in Charizard, sitting at 146%. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, he's oh, going too high, and the yeah. M-Tone gonna catch him, Void, with the 2-0. Unfortunate there for Silver Fox. Honestly, with the Charizard out, we know we, we've been talking about how, like, I don't want to say useless Charizard is, but he he's not the character most people want to play, especially not against a like, combo. Whoa.